Hey guys, it's Reed. Well, I had to say, I am very excited because I finally finished the homemade slam barrel shotgun. Now, I ended up doing a lot more to this thing than I originally uh, expected to do. And that that's because after sitting down and watching a lot of YouTube videos of many different homemade shotguns being made, I wanted to make something unique something that nobody's really done before from what I've seen. So, show you guys the finished handle part. Um, as you see, I went back and added um, wooden plates. These, the black plates here are made out of wood. I carved them out, sanded them down and everything. The grip one gives you a lot better feel when you go to grab it. Um, I've painted these black to make them stand out. Same thing with the extra shoulder stock right there now it doesn't really do nothing here it's just for looks but the one on the handle here is to give you a much better feel um, I redid the safety pin and the holder now it has when you pull it out you can actually slide right down in there and it holds it so it's not just hanging and swinging about um, it's got six shotgun shell holders on it I painted them black to make them stand out a little bit better I went back and added a three-quarter inch uh, rubber on the stock to give it some pretty good pads since this shotgun has a pretty good kick to it. Um, of course, painted the strap, painted the barrel um, silver. It's actually metallic silver, but metallic, of course, don't come out in these kind of paints. It's really horrible, but it did make it look pretty decent. Um, painted the uh, bolts at the top as well to make them blend in a little bit better. Now I went back and I JB welded the pipe to the stock as well as bolting it down. I put JB weld on pretty much everything. Um, not to mention that everything is welded together. So this thing is not coming back apart. It's, it's solid. Now, <clears throat> the barrel. I took the original handle and everything off of it. I didn't like it. I didn't want something like you see on every other YouTube video out there to where it's nothing but pipes thrown together pretty much. So, for those of you who have seen Rambo the movie with big old Rambo knife, um, I took one of them. I actually had one. I've had this thing for 15 years, never used it. It's always been put up. So, I took that knife and mounted the handle for the actual barrel handle. Now, it's aluminum where this is um, black pipe, black iron pipe. So what I did was drilled a hole all the way through here and actually threaded it, put a, um, I think it was a little 7 16 bolt all the way through here, cut both ends of it off, and I've also put JB weld in there with it so when I screwed it all the way through there, it's not come back out. It's a solid screwed in pin that goes all the way through the handle here to hold it to that other pipe that was in here. Um, it goes in there about that long to really hold it. Then I took and JB welded all the way around the edge and then sanded it down nice and smooth. Now you see here, I took and um, grinded all this down so it was nice and smooth to get it closer to a, um, going towards that the same size as the barrel. I left this side flat because that's the side that slams against the stock. So I wanted to keep it big and flat the way it is. Um, then I took this bracket here course the 8 inch <laughs> uh, Rambo knife as you would say um, survival knife it's got a saw on the back it's never been used very very sharp um, I took a uh, bracket and welded it to the uh, the barrel grind it all down nice and smooth to where it looks nice and smooth around there and then I took JB weld and then smoothed it out even more the actual handle holder here is made out of aluminum. I could not weld it to the bracket so I drilled a hole through there as you can see there's there's a hole here and a hole here. Well the bracket didn't come all the way down it only came about halfway so I bolted it on there and then JB welded the the rest of it, the bracket to the angle. So it's bolted and JB welded so it's not going to come loose. As far as the knife blade goes I drilled a hole. This is aluminum and this is stainless steel you can drill through stainless steel. I actually drilled a little itty bitty hole through, um, all the way through this. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it real 
really good because I grinded it off. I drilled a hole through the center of it, it goes all the way through, and I screwed the bolt in just like I did the handle here <clears throat> and grinded both ends off. I ran JB weld all through the hole as I was going through there as well, so it's on there solid. I took this thing just like this and stabbed it right into, oh, I'm about to knock my handle down. But I stabbed it into a treated 4x4 and it did not budge one bit. All of this is as solid as can be. Now, the good thing about this is with the survival knife handle, it comes with a compass and your full survival kit. Uh, strike Anywhere matches, sandpaper, um, needle, thread, fishing line, a fishing hook pretty much everything you need to survive for a little while. So this big old handle here gives you a little bit more leverage when you need to saw off branches, tree branches, whatever for a fire, whatever you need to do. Um, gives it a great bit more handle than the original knife blade that was there. And of course if you had to you could use it for hunting. Any kind of hunting if you needed to, skinning, all kinds of different things. <clears throat> and so it was a pretty good little addition I think added to the gun itself. <clears throat> now we put them together wow it won't even hardly fit in the whole camera but it's three feet long total and in length. Uh, the barrel of course again is 20 inches long out the stock. When you slide it in it slides in there about nine inches and then overall length three feet from barrel to the butt is 28 inches. Um, it was um, 27 or 26 or something. 26 is the minimum you can have. I had it at like 27, 27 and a half, but I didn't go as far down with the barrel as I originally intended, so I got an extra inch out of the overall length. But I would say this thing turned out to be a really, really cool gun, as you can see. Now, uh, please leave me comments because uh, I've been asking quite a few people about this. I've gotten different reactions to it. Some people think it's, think it's really cool. Others think with the survival knife edition is kind of creepy, which I can understand that. But overall, it could be a great survival tool if you're ever stuck anywhere. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I will have a video soon of actually firing it in this finished state. So, I hope you guys enjoy it.